Okay, moving on to something important. Let's take a look at this receiver here. I think there's about 700 turns on here. And uh, of course your primary is now sort of a receiver. I call it a power coil, but look here. Now, here's something that I'm adding. This is, well, it was a primary, but uh, was was being not used, so I just gave this a try. I think a single turn of wire would work on here because it just hooks up to the ground. Now, <clears throat> with this deal here, you can actually tune this. Let me tell you what happened. I had these motors running really great uh, a month ago, and I just put the exper experiment aside. I didn't have this on it. And I came back to it, and it wouldn't run at all. And I didn't touch a thing, I, not a thing. Then I started thinking, my God, how can you post a video of something that maybe nobody would ever be able to replicate? So I started playing around, and I found out that as I put my hand close to the coil, it would come into tuning. So, well, you know, I'm just a great big ground, so... I decided to put a ground around that and uh, see what happens. And sure enough, I can I can move that up and down and, and tune something right in. Let's take a look at it. First of all, before we take a look, let me show you what I'm running here. This is uh, one of my stator motors, and it's running on the the one coil or single coil circuit, but it's a double circuit. I have two um, uh, heavier wire windings in there that I use one as a power coil and one as a generator coil, but now I'm running each one of those with uh, one of the sides of this double um, single coil circuit. The windings are, well, I actually have four wires wound at the same time, and they go clockwise, counterclockwise all the way around. The magnets are the same way. There's 12 legs there, 12 magnets. The small magnets run faster than the big ones. But let me put that on there and we'll take a look. Okay, so I put it on. And uh, off we go. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it. Okay, what I'm going to do is unplug the microphone. Hold on. Okay, I unplugged the mic. You might be able to hear it now with the uh, camera uh, microphones. Now, see, just getting near it changes. But here's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I'm going to move this down. Hear it picking up speed? Move it down a little bit more. Moved it down too much, it's slowing down. Hard to work with. There we go. I mean, that's pretty close. I've, I've had it going better. Let's take a look at the RPMs. going pretty good. Um, what I'm going to do is see if I can get it going better then I'll pick the camera up again. Hold on. I 
Oh man, hold the fort down. I forgot to plug in my ground. No wonder. Okay, let's just take a look now. Alright, there's... 3300 RPMs. That's a little more like it. I can get four... I can get 4,000 out of it. It actually has a little bit of power. It's a little hard to stop on the shaft side. Okay, so there you have it. This will be my tuner from now on. You can see now that little move took the speed up a little bit. Alright, so let's talk about some of this other stuff on the table here. Um, I know a lot of people don't like the uh, one coil circuit. I like it. <clears throat> but uh, before we go on, let's, let's look at um, how this is set up. I think you can see that. Here's the tuning coil and it goes to ground. The uh, uh, single coil circuit for driving up here is what I'm using right now. It's a double two channel and I have one power coil in each one of those two. And like I said, I'll post this diagram for you to see. You can see, uh, if you take a look here, this power coil on the bottom, or receiver coil, is just hooked to a uh, full wave rectifier and it's putting pulse DC out. Um, something I didn't show here. I, I've got a, on, at least on the top there, I've got a capacitor in here. Almost anything will work. Uh, this is 47,000 uh, uh, microfarads. But you uh, need to keep your voltage up a little bit because if you have nothing hooked up and running, this cap can charge kind of high. So you have to be careful about that. And then if you plug something in, it gets a little surge while the cap discharges. So uh, that's what we have running. Now I'm going to show you some of the other stuff that can run. Hold on. Okay, so uh, here we go. The uh, stator motor is running. Here's a window motor running. Of course the stator motor is on the single coil circuit. The window motor here is on the full wave uh, Bedini coil window motor circuit. That's going. This little magnetic uh, maglev uh, rotor is spinning with a half wave circuit. And this little m window motor over here is running on an SSG. Oh, I'm sorry, I got it backwards. This this one is running on the SSG circuit, and this one is running on a half wave circuit. So they're all going at one time there, nice and happy. How cool is that? Um, there's um, there's some energy on this receiver. I think this will light. Let's see. No. Too many things running. We we'll get light with this. Still got over here brightly. That should be running on the heat from the heat sink. I guess it's really not hot enough. But anyhow, that's all going. Uh, what else can you do here? Here's four motors running and can still run some bulbs. Everything's slowing down a little bit. I think, you know, there must be a certain amount of current draw on there that doesn't like. I'll tell you one thing doesn't like a few things. I, I'll unplug this window motor. 
because it doesn't like that. Whoop, that guy took off. He's gonna fly off the, <laughs> off the magnets. Okay. Be careful with that. I'm gonna stop it. You've seen them all running. But, uh, let me disconnect all that. Alright, so we're just running the uh, stator motor and I probably could fill this up with bulbs pretty good. Um, there's one other thing that I'll show you. Uh, hold on, let me... Okay, here's uh, an old antique motor. I don't know if it was from an erector set or came from Ed's Hobby Shop on Turney Road about 60 years ago, I suppose. I don't know. And uh, it's running. It doesn't like the brushed motors real well, but it does run. So, anyhow, that's about all I had to show you today. I hope you uh, can get in tune with this idea over here. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how you do. Let me know. Take care, guys. Oh, finally the heat sink's hot enough that the uh, LTD engine is running. <laughs> Nothing like you getting a little bit of extra cooling on the heat sink. <laughs>